Sandra Davis, you're a partner at Michigan de Rare and head of the family department with more than 30 years' experience in the field. And I know you feel strongly that children are being failed by the system. So please tell me, how do you propose to improve it? I think that children's voices are not appropriately heard in the current process and that what needs to happen is more therapeutic input at the outset before people's views are polarised and before they get entrenched and unable to properly communicate, let alone co-parent. So before a divorce gets to court, you would like there to be a, a first step, if you like? Well, what I think is important is that before anyone thinks of litigating children issues, they are forced to go into conflict clinics, a therapeutic resolution of the issues. Not necessarily before the divorce is issued, but before anything comes to court with regard to children. How do you envisage these working? What I see is that parents would go into a therapeutic system whereby a trained psychologist would actually get to grips with those issues so that children actually were able to be properly heard rather than just given lip service in terms of their best interests. And these clinics would have 10 sessions and people would either pay if they were above a means tested limit or they would essentially get these for a very small amount of money, um, government funded. And only if they failed through this therapeutic input would they then be allowed to go to court and the normal processes take place. That would save the government a fortune on funding because £150 million is spent on privately funded um, work in the, in the children arena. It would also save time in court for cases that really need court intervention. And it would hopefully ensure that parents could actually meaningfully engage with regard to their children's future without punishing them as a result of everything else that was flowing through the, the separation itself. And is that what you see happening now? What I see is that parents use their children as tools. There's no other bloodletting arena and they focus all their ne negativity on children issues. There's no other mechanism for resolving it. There's no fault divorce. Fault doesn't have any part to play in the financial proceedings. It's not the Victorian age, so we don't punish adultery or any kind of conduct unless it's so extreme that it would be unfair to leave it out of account. So people actually dump all their bitterness and their negativity on children issues. And that's just where they shouldn't be doing it. And the courts are a very blunt instrument to deal with children. Judges can't feel what's in the children's best interests by actually just reading papers, hearing about it. Often they get very frustrated and aggravated with what they see as a petty dispute between the parents that's got nothing to do with their children. And so if you want Tuesday and I want Thursday, the judge may order Wednesday. So let us assume that we all agree, as I'm sure we do, that this would be a fantastically beneficial new stage. How would it be resourced? Who would these professionals be? Are they already in existence or would they have to be trained? Clearly the cost of, of this has to be scoped out by a financial institution. But in my view, existing resources, child psychotherapists, trained social workers could be retrained with a different focus, um, charities who already have in-house psychologists. All these could be brought together and housed so that this could kick off in the not too distant future. I don't want this to be something that's kicked into the long grass. I feel very strongly that something needs to happen soon in order to give children a voice. The government are grotesquely underfunding uh, the court system. There aren't enough court appointed social workers and so the delays create inherent problems. It needs to be resolved and I feel that with a serious push from people at the forefront of divorce who have been actually involved in seeing what happens on a day-to-day -day basis for years like I have, I think we are really positioned, centrally positioned, to actually make a change. I would like personally to see that I had done something really constructive and socially 
important with my career and that I had facilitated change in an area that I see as really, really critical for society as a whole. To convince the government to make the necessary changes to legislation and the resource allocation for this to happen, could you point them in the direction of a system where this already works, a country, or an area where this happens? In Texas, for example, they are beginning to get it right or have already moved into this kind of transitional system where therapists, rather than mediators who are just facilitators, actually improve communication. They have these kind of counselling, therapeutic conflict resolution classes which are mandated by the court for parents. And do they work? They have seen an enormous rate of success in resolving what can be serious parental alienation problems that develop um, quite, quite later down the line. And is there any way we can say, yes, and that has also saved a lot of public money? When you look at the amount of money the government spend on privately funded cases, you have to know that there is a cheaper way of resolving disputes. If cases run for one to two years, involve several court hearings, barristers get paid, lawyers get paid X hundred pounds an hour, to have what I'm suggesting has to be a considerably cheaper option and has to be healthier. It's certainly worth a try because what we have simply doesn't work at the moment in my view. What's your dream for this? What's your best estimate of when this could become a reality? My hope is that we would be able to get this off the ground and, and that we could lobby for the change within a year. That's my hope.